In this project, we designed a robotic system to autonomously scan a flat surface and create a voltage vector map using a method called electric field vector mapping. This map is then used to detect leaks on a roof. To accomplish this, we used a robot to systematically take measurements and create a vector map. The robot that we used is the iRobot Create. Mounted in the robot is a wireless data acquisition unit, or WIDAC which allows us to obtain two voltage vectors simultaneously and send them wirelessly back to the host PC. Also, two clusters of infrared LEDs are mounted on the back of the robot. These LEDs are monitored by the infrared camera in a Nintendo Wii remote to track the location of the robot. The positional data is paired with the voltage measurements and transferred to the host PC wirelessly. For the experimental setup, the camera is mounted on a tripod that overlooks the area that the robot will traverse. A wet sheet is placed on top of a non-conductive membrane to simulate water sprayed uniformly on the surface of a roof. Conductive tape is placed along the perimeter of the sheet, forming the charge grid, and the positive terminal of the battery is attached to the grid. The negative terminal is attached to the metal contact, which simulates a leak in the middle of the membrane. Before a test is performed, the infrared camera in the Nintendo Wii remote must first be calibrated by measuring four-point correspondences between the world plane and points in the camera's image plane. Once the camera has been calibrated, the position of the robot is known. Here is a test run of the robot performing a raster scan of the experimental setup. The video is running at increased speed. As the robot scans the region, it sends voltages and positional data wirelessly to the host computer, where our software records the data and creates a vector map of the region. The robot pauses throughout the scan and waits for the voltage measurements to be taken and sent to the host computer. The computer then issues the command to measure the next point, and the robot drives to that location and repeats the process until it completes the entire area. The software is periodically checking to make sure that the robot is taking the correct course. If the robot does veer off path, the software issues the appropriate command to put it back on track. In the next screen, the software shows the robot's movements as it is collected from the Nintendo Wii remote and sent to the computer. This data is combined with the voltage measurements received from the WIDAC. This data together is used to create a vector map in real time. The arrows represent the measured voltage vectors and they point in the direction of the leak. The color of each arrow indicates the magnitude of the voltage at each point where the brighter red indicates a stronger magnitude. From this scan we can easily see that there are two holes, one towards the top right and one towards the bottom in the middle. 